Warriors, this is our Southern California quick escape to New Orleans, and we are going to show you the fun things you can do here. We're in LAX, and today we are going to be flying to New Orleans. This will be our first time visiting the state of Louisiana. After a three and a half hour flight, we have landed in the Big East. Easy peasy! This museum tells the story of the American experience in the war that changed the world. We're handed some dog tags as we enter the train. After the train departed, we watched a video presentation on soldiers who enlisted in the war. Then we registered our dog tag by selecting a member in the military whose story we want to follow. Now we're going upstairs to look at the exhibits. First up is a special gallery on comedian Bob Hope and his contribution to the war. The exhibit highlights how Hope helps lift the human spirit during one of the darkest times in American history. Next, we're learning about the start of the war. The A Day of Infamy presentation shows how America was brought into the conflict when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. This section tells the story of the Japanese Americans who were forced into incarceration camps. Click here to watch our video on the man's in our Japanese internment camp. Brother is playing with one of the many multimedia displays. I am learning about manufacturing during wartime. We're taking a quick bite at Jerry Nim's soda shop. I'm going to make this disappear. It disappeared. We're back to the exhibits. In my cabin right there's 40 bones. It's time to learn about D-Day, on which Allied forces invaded northern France by means of beach landings in Normandy. The Nazi flag is so ugly. We're crossing the American Spirit Bridge to the next building. The Road to Tokyo exhibit retraces the grueling trail that led from Pearl Harbor to Tokyo Bay. And it ended with Japan surrendering when the U.S. dropped the atomic bomb. We're taking the escalator down to the next level. The Road to Berlin gallery brings to life the drama, sacrifices, personal stories, and strategies of America's campaign to defeat the Axis powers and preserve freedom. Why is the Nazi flag going the wrong way? This exhibit recreates battle settings and villages for immersion. Next, we're visiting the John E. Kushner Restoration Pavilion to learn how STEM helped solve some of World War II's toughest problems. In case you don't know, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Lastly, we're checking out the U.S. Freedom Pavilion, the Boeing Center, to view World War II airplanes. We had an educational time here. Our next stop is the Louisiana <laughs> Children's Museum. Opened in 1986, this is a 30,000 square feet museum of interactive exhibits for children. Oh no, brother found a train table. He's gonna stay there forever. All aboard, choo-choo. I'm playing a game that tests my reflexes. Brother is trying to pull himself to the top. Here, let me show you how it's done. We're throwing the baseball to see how fast we can pitch. Next, brother and I are trying to lift up 500 pounds of weight. Our shadows are projected onto the wall in this room. <laughs> We're going up to the second level. We're learning about vision in this room. Look at me dancing, and brother, and beaver. Now we're exploring the little port of New Orleans. Let's go play a little wind Dixie. Cat 
cash register here is very cool because it actually prints out a receipt. Now we're going to see exhibits on the attractions of New Orleans. We're learning about the architecture of the city in this exhibit. Lastly, we're going to play at a mock cafe. Here comes your food. We had so much fun at the Louisiana Children's Museum. We're heading to our hotel at the heart of the Central Business District and Brother is all worn out. We have arrived at Hyatt House, New Orleans. So we're gonna give you a tour of the We're staying in a suite. So there's a kitchenette. With a stove, microwave, and coffee maker. There's a refrigerator. A living room. With, oh, look, a trolley. There's a trolley station right there. So I guess if we're ever going to have to ride to the French Quarter or something, we can just go there. In the bedroom. And two queen size beds. And another TV. And lastly, the bathroom. The Hyatt House also features awesome breakfast with an omelet bar. Now we're going to ride the streetcar for fun. Streetcars are a charming and convenient way to experience the many areas of New Orleans. Four distinct lines, each originating downtown, will take you through the French Quarter and beyond. <laughs> Lastly, we're going to get some dinner at Brothers Food Mart. We brought our food back to the Hyatt House to eat. We had so much fun in our quick escape to New Orleans. 